happy Valentine's Day, my love. So before I get into this video, I first want to give a quick shout out to Dossier Perfumes for sponsoring this video. For those of you who don't know, Dossier Perfumes is an amazing perfume company that specializes in creating high quality perfume scents, but at an affordable price. You guys can see I have a bottle right here. This is Fougé Pink Pepper. You can see the top notes, pink pepper, lemon, orange blossom, lavender, cedar wood, patchouli, all of these amazing ingredients. It's inspired by Gucci, Guilty. The concentration level is 12%, and then there's a little thank you note at the bottom and a how it works section down below. As promised, there are iconic scents at designer quality with no crazy markups like you see with most luxury perfumes, which tend to have like a 500% markup or something wild like that. Here I have the Gourmand White Flowers as well as a little sample bottle. You guys can see these bottles are just so pretty, so unique. Here's the Gourmand White Flowers card, the notes, what it's inspired by, the concentration level, all of that. This is also one of my favorite perfume scents and it also comes with a matching candle which I have. So if you guys are interested, please go ahead and check out the link in my bio below. I also have a code that you guys can use for some Guala off. But essentially, these scents are all I use. Honestly, I have owned luxury perfume scents before, but it just gets tiresome just to go out and get luxury perfumes and just spend all that money when you could literally just get these amazing scents right here at only $29 and up, you guys. Like, this is a steal, okay? Really great scents. They last all day. I honestly can't get them to not stick to my clothes and the scent is very long lasting i always get compliments when i wear these scents so yes they are strong these are amazing gifts for any occasion i've given them as birthday presents before i know it's valentine's day today so treat yourself to some amazing perfumes by dossier like i'm doing right now Smell like a million bucks, feel like a million bucks, but ball on a budget. Thank you, Dossier. Now on to the video. So I'm starting off with a fresh face and I'm going to freshen up with some rose water spray since it's Valentine's Day and I feel like smelling like roses. This is also just going to freshen up my face for my makeup. Then I go in with my Milk Makeup Primer. This is my Hydro Grip Primer that I love so much. This is an amazing base for your makeup. Your makeup just sticks on and lasts so long. Then I go in with my Bobbi Brown Foundation. This is my luxury foundation, and it also has sunscreen in it, like an SPF of 40, I believe, but I usually still wear sunscreen as a base, but for today, since I'm staying inside, I'm just applying it directly onto my face, and I'm using a brush to apply my foundation because I just find that the application is just so much better, and it just blends into your skin so nicely, as you guys can see right here. And I'm also making sure it doesn't get onto my lips because I have a tendency to get foundation onto my lips, but I'm just kind of patting it in with my brush. No aggressive movements or anything like that, just very lightly blending it onto my face. And I'm surprised it matches with my skin so well at this point because I'm still a bit tan, but the shade that I'm wearing right now is warm sand. Then I go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm using an ivory shade and I'm applying it under my eyes as well as on my forehead and the bridge of my nose as well as my jawline and my chin. I'm just applying it with my finger. And as well as onto my eyelids. Then I go in with a darker concealer and this I'm actually going to be using as a cream contour. So you guys can see where I'm applying it. Basically all of the areas on my face where I want a bit more structure. So I'm going to be emphasizing my cheekbones, my nose, and my jawline, as well as my forehead. And I'm taking my foundation brush 
and I'm just going to blend it in. Similar technique that I did with my foundation. Nothing too crazy, just patting it in and being gentle. And it just blends in naturally. Softly going in on my nose. I have to be a bit careful because I am wearing a nose stud. Don't want that to fall out. Blending my contour into my hairline. And then just going over the places that I already did. Cleaning up my jaw as well. Now I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm dabbing out the places where I applied my concealer just to blend it in. And it's already blending in with my foundation and everything else so nicely. Make sure your beauty blender is wet when you do this, you guys. Now I'm going to apply my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm actually going to be using this to bake. So I'm just applying it over the places where I applied the ivory concealer. It's going to help my makeup set very nicely. And I'm just going to let that rock while I go in with my Makeup by Mario Master Mats palette. I love this palette. I just got it. And I'm using the lightest shade for my brow bone before going in with the shade below it for my crease. We're going to do kind of like a smoky brown look with a cherry red lip today. I'm going in with a reddish brown shade on top of the shade that I already applied. I do want to have some type of red undertones to my shadow, red tones, since it's Valentine's Day. Now I'm going in with a peachy shade for my lid, just to blend all of that in. Just blending out the colors a bit, especially for my crease. And I'm just touching up with the peach shade and I'm using that for my lid. And it's really making my lid very light. And it's also allowing you guys to see the transition between the lid shade and the crease shade. It's all coming together. Going in with my brown shade, my dark cocoa brown shade, I'm touching up my crease, adding more of that smoky effect by winging out my crease a bit, as well as creeping onto my lower lash line. Going in with my black shade, I'm going to be using this as my eyeliner. And I'm going to apply this very gently on both my upper lash line, 
as well as my lower lash line and the inner corner of my eye. And you may have to do this a few times just so that the pigment stays on. And I'm using a very small straight tip brush. Doing the other eye, starting out with my inner corner and just kind of like pulling along my lower lash line as well as my upper lash line. Just winging out my eyeliner so it matches my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with my highlight and I'm actually gonna be using this as eye shimmer. I'm using the orange color because it's just going to go well with the rest of my ensemble. So I'm using my fingers and I'm applying my highlight as eyeshadow. I tend to do this a lot just because I feel like a lot of eye shimmers just aren't shimmery enough for me so i find that highlight works a lot better i'm also touching my inner corners although i'm a little hesitant to do that i'd rather go in with the white highlight shade as opposed to the orange but here we are it's looking good I'm just taking a brush and I'm brushing up my eyebrows a bit before I go ahead and fill them in. There is some eyeshadow residue from the black eyeshadow that is getting onto my brow as well, but that just makes it a little easier on my part. Because now I'm taking my pencil and I'm filling them in. Once that's done, I go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm applying it on both my upper lashes as well as my lower lashes just to make my eyes pop and stand out. I'm just kind of blinking onto the spoolie. And I'm wiggling at the base of my lashes as well, just to allow them to fan out. I'm finally blending out my powder that I applied earlier to bake. And it's looking great. Makeup is looking so snatched. Just to be extra, I apply my Pacifica Mattifying Powder just for that mattified look. I apply my eyelashes off camera and then I use my Wet n Wild Contour Palette for my bronzer. And I just lightly apply it over the places where I applied my dark contour from earlier. 
before going in with my blush, this is my Essence Ombre blush. And then my lip combo for today, I'm using my Maybelline lip liner. I think this is number 118. Before going in with my NARS mini lip stain in a nice gorgeous ruby cherry red and guys this stuff lasts forever i'm not even kidding like it will last you like beyond 24 hours maybe even 48 hours if you wear this it's so hard to get off of your face but it's so worth it and it doesn't dry up or anything this is why it's one of my favorite lip stains I'm going in finally as a final touch with my white highlight and I'm just applying some to the inner corners of my eyes with a really tiny brush. This is just to allow my eyes to pop a bit more. And then I do some final touches to my eyebrows. Before going in with my setting spray, this is my Urban Decay D-Slick setting spray. And then after I apply my setting spray, I apply some highlight. I apply my highlight after my setting spray just because I find that it sticks way better. And as opposed to swiping it onto my face like I do in pretty much all my videos, I'm actually trying to be very light and gentle here. And you guys can see it's looking very beautiful. Really didn't have to do much. I might do this more often. And I'm going on my cheekbone as well as my jawbone. And after doing some final touches, here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Bye.